Hello, Nicole McTavish, grade 12 students for next year. Here's going to be your registration video for how to fill out your course registration forms. Uh, your last year of school coming up, hopefully, and uh, we're going to get you through it how to do that. Uh, so first off, there's videos on every course subject. You can take a look back to, to, to find out what English, social math, and science, and stuff like that. But by your grade, you probably know which streams is the one you should be in, like the dash one, dash two, or dash three. I'm going to refer you back to this form. You're going to see me skipping around on my screen here. Uh, the Alberta High School Diploma Requirements. This is super important for you guys this year. You need to make sure you're checking off all these boxes all the way through. And we will probably sit down with you when you come back to school in August and uh, September and chat about uh, how your uh, plan looks and how it looks for you to graduate. Because you need to make sure you're getting all these boxes checked off and to ensure you're going to graduate at the end of the year. Uh, as mentioned, you can watch the video that's on that and more information in lots of detail for that. Uh, as I skip down here, the next thing you need to really start thinking about too is many of you have started to think about what you're going to do next year. So if you're looking to go to university, here's this form is going to be put up on our website as well. So you can watch it and take a look at it anytime. And it will tell you a little bit about what's needed for each of these different faculties. So that's um, something you can take a look at. Um, each of them is listed here with what you need to get in and what courses they're looking for. Uh, the actual percents that you need to get in is different per university. You'll have to look that up, but at least you can take a look at that other stuff. If university isn't your, your where you're going to be heading or it's not something that's on your radar screen, I do we do have some stuff on apprenticeship and college requirements for these different programs. Once again, this will go up on our website so you can take a look at it uh, and see what you need. But let's get back to how we actually do our registration for our courses. Now, just remember that you need to have at least seven courses. Many grade 12 students will have full course load, which is eight, but you can have one spare as long as you're uh, on pace to graduate um, and, and things are working out for you in those. It is possible to have a spare in grade 12. Uh, you're going to go to your browser and then type in this website right here. Uh, type that into the top of your browser and you can go to our, your login. Many of you will already know your, your uh, PowerSchool logins for your student count. Um, or at least very least your parents one. So one of those two will work and it's gonna bring up a screen that looks a lot like this uh, on the left side. So on the left side here, you'll see class registration. You're gonna click on class registration and that's gonna bring up this form right here. So for those of you that have done this before with us, you'll see that this looks exactly the same as last year and you're gonna fill it out just like we have in the past. You're gonna click on uh, the pencil at the side here, just pick which course you want. So for English, you're gonna go in here and remember you must have English 30-1 or 30-2 to graduate. So you're gonna pick whichever stream it is that you went through. So here's my dash one, I'm gonna click okay. Boom, it has to be on there, five credits. The same will go for social studies. You're gonna go on here and pick your social studies and it's gonna click okay. That changes to a check mark. So that ensures that you have what you need for graduation. Those are two musts for this year. So make sure that you're uh, registered in one of those dash one or dash two. If you're new to Alberta and you're not sure about the dash one to dash two, there's please refer back to the English and social videos uh, as well as the science and math ones to talk more about what the programming is. Then you're gonna go to math. Now, if you're if you finished math 20 dash three or whatever and you're done with that and you don't have to you don't want to take any higher level math, then that's good. You're done. So you don't have to worry about um, choosing one. But if you are taking the grade 12 math, then you can go in here and choose whichever one you're going to do. Let's say I was taking 30-2 and then click OK. The next spot is going to be science. Now, this is where you're going to pick the ones you've 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 done. Maybe you took uh, Chem 20 and Bio 20 in grade 11. So now you're going to continue with Bio 30 and Chem 30. But you really had wished you had taken Physics 20. So then you're going to take Physics and try to catch that up as well. So you're going to click OK. And if you wanted to do Physics 20 and Physics 30, you would click them both. And then you click OK. And those all will come up. You're going to have a very full schedule if this was you. Options. You do need to include some options. Uh, we're saying you must pick at least two that you have to continue on. Because remember, you want 30 level option credits as well. So let's say we took Art all the way through. And let's say General Music, uh, which is like our Glee. And... There's also guitar. Let's say I took those ones all the way through. There we go. Got my check mark on the side. Remembering that sometimes these ones come up with zero credits, but these all had five in this case, but uh, sometimes they come up with zero. But remember, you can choose whichever ones you wish. Phys Ed, if you continue with Phys Ed to Phys Ed 30, 
uh, or if you want to take 20 in grade 12, you can do that as well. But let's say for all purposes, I've finished in grade 10 and I didn't want to do it again. So I'll leave this blank and that's fine. Uh, for our French students, you will continue on with your French language arts and French social studies. You'll see just those two are listed. There isn't math and science because we didn't offer that in grade 11 this year. Uh, so we won't be probably offering in grade 12. So French language arts and French social studies would be ones for you students to fill out if you want at the grade 12 level which is what will get you your bilingual diploma. So make sure you fill those out if you're a French student. Calm is only needs to be filled out if you haven't done your uh, career in life management yet. It's a graduation requirement again. So if you haven't, let's say I hadn't completed it, then I'm gonna come in here, click on it, click okay. Now my form is done. I've got everything I need to graduate. I refer back to that other sheet that shows us what uh, we need to graduate. I'm good to go, I have all the boxes checked. And then you're going to click submit. Of course, my screen doesn't show that because this is like a practice screen. So it will tell you uh, exactly what you, what you need. One other quick thing to remember as a grade 12 student, you should be doing some adding of credits. So you're going to add up your credits to make sure you get enough to graduate. Remember, the most credits you can get if you have a full schedule is 40 in a year. Sometimes it can be slightly more than that if you do work experience or extra credit modules. But it really is that range. So if you need to really make sure you're above 80 before you start your grade 12 career or year, and we will uh, work with you to make sure that happens. So that's grade 12 in a nutshell. Uh, exciting times as you enter closer to adulthood, and we certainly hope for the best for you as you go through this. If you have any questions, make sure you ask the office and connect with us. And remember, we will meet with every single grade 12 uh, when we come back uh, to school.